Why well, is a busy day, you know? Yes, yeah, someone keep it real. Lonesome. The man in the wilderness. Keep it straight and keep it real. Yeah, man, we have to keep it real. All right, so, in other day, I'm, I'm supposed to talk to Leonard, Leonard, fiancé, for much decades, you know? Yeah? I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to talk to her today, and I'm going to talk to her yesterday, too. But I want the people, I'm going to talk to her, the people, you know? You are going on, you know? You are thing and thing, guy, you know? Yeah, man, Leonard, rest in peace. All right, so, but for draw back for the club, forensic science and, and look how, how forensic science work, you know? But I have to do that sometime, you know? You understand? Because I'm a man who like understand the whole of these things, you know? You have to understand how the thing work. See? So, <clears throat> every, every, every crime you commit, if you depend on the scene, you commit a crime, or uh, wow, wow, something taken out of the scene and you leave something. And you tell some people, and they might think I joke, of course. So I'm going to play a couple of things, you know, audio and video, you know, remind people of some things. You know them kind of way they arm um, HD? Yeah, man, I have to do them things, man. Them things are nice, man. Educational, bad. See? Mm -hmm. So we have some big scene. We understand crime scene, you know, crime scene work. See? Cause in a Jamaica, you know, it'll be a contaminated scene we have. Crime scene. A man gets shot, really. Police in the card now properly, and and even them, because even if you have a, you have a ten toes of police run upon a scene, the one of them tramp up on the scene, so them take things and leave things there, contamination, and I forgot by ear say, you know, and yeah man, yeah man, yeah yes man, see, and them I forgot by ear say, and that we are run from, so we are look on, we are look on some crime scene thing here. Yeah, which is tile. Yeah, make them know this. What's environment? The location where What's from the second a crime is committed, traces of the crime are left in the environment. The location where a crime took place can be full of physical evidence, which can link the crime to the criminal and ultimately assist the police in their investigation. This location is known as the crime scene. Crime scenes can be anywhere. Indoors, outdoors, at business premises, domestic dwellings, or vehicles, and no two are ever the same. The work of a crime scene investigator, or CSI, is a key part of processing a crime and obtaining evidence. For this reason alone, the skills they need and the procedures they follow are of vital importance. Before a CSI even enters the crime scene, they need a full set of appropriate protective clothing. The full crime scene suit, sometimes called a bunny suit, consists of boot covers, gloves, a hood, and a mouth guard. This clothing will protect the CSI and ensure they do not contaminate the crime scene. Crime scenes often occur outside, and a police officer is usually the first person at the scene. However, the police officer should not disturb the crime scene and should instead set up a cordon to protect the evidence contained within. When the crime scene investigator enters the crime scene, they will use the common approach path. This is the path from the edge of the cordon to the focal point of the crime scene, and in most cases, stepping plates will be used along this path to preserve the evidence. When a so let me ask you know, something now. Let me just cut it right there, sir. But I see our crime scene in Jamaica. Man does get shot at, so you see anything, card enough, and thing, I see everybody trampled upon and everything. Is that your tell ups? There was some crime scene, no kill what happened, but that dead, but that one, but it's a crime scene that deal with like this in Jamaica, really? Eh? You don't see them kind of like a thing, man. You see me, I say? Everybody are going to look, you know, and then every police marching, one of the, you know, the, the, the forensic guys, the man thing, no, everybody just marching, the thing of a proper, label up and proper, everything of a proper about crime scene. See? Yeah, man. So I'll we'll play a couple more because them thing are very important. I them thing I love, you know. You know, about this movie thing and them thing there, you know. You understand? Yeah, man. See? In a Jamaica, you know, find this. Every crime scene where you see if a man gets shot and dead, it's not like it carried enough and them are saying, right. That means a man the day has and shot in the feet with some footprint. Them themselves run up and double cross the print where they did already. And every Every, every person, if you're there, I see, now play something and they may understand. 
you, you take something from the scene and you leave something from the scene. I tell some people they don't understand these things. We are selling time up. You see an ups? Yeah, Colleen ups. Yeah, man, up, up. Yeah, man. All right, watch this. Available, these stepping plates should be used at all times. A CSI's job is to both accurately document and process the crime scene. Documenting the scene involves taking photographs of the crime scene, of exhibits, and taking notes. Documenting the crime scene will continue as they start to collect the evidence. As the crime scene is processed, the CSI has to be very conscious of environmental factors which may compromise the evidence. This is especially important in outside crime scenes, as factors such as rain, snow and strong wind can mean the need to collect the evidence faster than normal or erect temporary structures to protect the evidence. Here, we in data and we know you, you collect the evidence faster than normal. That's why we don't wait to collect evidence and we don't get time on them things there. You understand? Yeah, man, we know about crime scene and process of crime scene and them things. So, you know, in a Jamaica, do it go back way. Mm, back way, come on. Yeah, man. Crime scene may also need to be protected if it's near a public area where the media or passers by can see it. Time of day can also play a major role in how a crime scene is processed. In some instances, it may be advisable to preserve the scene until natural light is available. However, in many cases, temporary high-powered lighting rigs and powerful torches can be used to process the scene. Indoor crime scenes have their own set of issues, whether it's a business property or a domestic dwelling. In indoor crime scenes such as burglary, the CSI may have to speak to a victim of crime. In such cases, they should be empathetic and have good communication skills. They must all- You hear me? Empathetic and have communication skills. Yeah. hear? Empathetic and have communication skills. All right. Also be considerate of personal environments and balance the respect for someone's property with the need for a thorough scientific examination. In more serious crimes, it may be necessary for the CSI to remove objects and furnishings from the property. Another common crime scene is vehicle crime. These are processed like any other crime scene. However, in less serious crimes such as car theft, the CSI will focus their efforts on the point of entry, such as a broken window. In more serious crimes, the car can be fully stripped to look for evidence. This would include lifting the carpets, taping the upholstery, and analysing the lists for trace forensic evidence. As you can see, crime scenes are very varied and take place in a wide range of locations. However, they do have a number of basic principles in common, including cordons, common approach paths, and the systematic recovery and collection of evidence. The crime scene investigator has a key role in documenting the crime scene and collecting the physical evidence left during a crime. You see it? Real crime scene, me going pan now, you know, watch it. But I go pan something else, you know. But me like them, them, them thing I wear. I'm amazed, my man. And the people that are work, you know, forensic evidence. Them go for it. Then this, when you listen to it, I want to know it, I can show you, say, you know, it, you leave things and you take things from areas. Just listen it good. See? Just listen this good. Them thing, them thing I may like watching. Man. You understand? Yeah, man, them thing I would rest them, man. In a Jamaica, do you know, say, the whole of them thing I breach, you know? Man, the crime scene, you know, look at a man. If a police, if a man, them just go look all up and on foot and chew and, you know, yeah. Yo. <laughs> I <laughs> don't know. I don't know. don't know when that are collected. You know. I don't know. See? Watch this. I've been working in the uh, fingerprint field now for over 20 years. Although it can be really intricate and time consuming work, it is just so fantastic when you actually make a match. Most of us probably think that we've got a pretty good understanding of the basic principles of forensic science. We binge on true crime TV series, we read and buy huge numbers of books and obsessively download true crime podcasts trying to figure out who'd done it. But there are some things about forensic science that you will probably only know if you're an insider. Let's start with some basics. Where does all the information a forensic scientist needs come from? Well, everywhere really. In the early 1900s, French criminologist Edmund Lockhart declared that every contact leaves a true it's where to go back and to show you who and just about right, here we are when they clear that's up in the early 19 when 
and hear what I say, and then I can show you it. So I'm coming up with it and hear my other scope, go back to the clip. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, man, Mr. Lonesome, the media should educate the citizen about tampering with a crime scene and the importance of evidence. Not just, not just the citizen, but also the police, them. Because them, 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 them up on crime scene all the time. Instead of calling it half and do what they have to do and call up other people and them things. You see me, you see me, I say? You see me, I say? Them not, not even them. So you go up on a crime scene, them, them, they, they are contaminated too. And I joke, man, I like me to tell apps. I like me to tell. Just give me an advice of it. I like me to tell. Them contaminated too, man. See? See it all the time. See? And then listen for years and then run with maybe two little get a youth and you, you see me I say, can I work? Just, just, just listen about this now. Just listen to this book. Everywhere, really. In the early 1900s, French criminologist Edmund Lockhart declared that every contact leaves a trace. This forms the basis of what is now called Lockhart's exchange principle, which says that whatever you interact with, you leave something behind and take something away. And this is from the 1900. You hear everything you interact with. Can you interact with the table? Uh, the chair, I must touch something, fingerprint, foot, your flu, the floor, anything. You don't have on a shoe, your, your boot, or anything. Anything you interact with. You either take something, some dust, some, something from there, sir, and you leave something at all times. And that does factual, that are just straight facts, right, cross. And like I sit on pan this and I leave something pan it. Even if it's me have on a long pants and you sit on pan pan the pan a, pan a chair or something, even the some fur out of the pants or something, something I'll leave back. Maybe the naked eye can't see, but it's there. You understand? Something I'll leave back. Man. You touch something, same thing. Watch this. One of the areas of forensic science where this is particularly applicable is forensic botany. There are around 390,000 different species of plants in the world, each with its own pollen type. And when it comes... So 390,000 different species of plants in the world. Well, something that enough people not know about neither. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a different pollen type. Pollen type, right? All right, I'm going to play it back for them, right? All right. And listen. And it blew and leave it one thing, you know. Just listen. It makes you say it again. It's forensic botany. There are around 390,000 different species of plants in the world, each with its own pollen type. And when it comes to crime scenes, pollen can really tell a story. It's all around us. It's on the ground. If you walk on soil or vegetation, that's what you pick it up. Inevitably, you pick it up. Patricia Wiltshire is a forensic ecologist. She uses pollen to help solve crimes. Unlike other forms of... Yeah, well, she used to solve our crime then. Because you can't pick it up on your clothes and everything. So you say, many of them are so. But when you take off your clothes and what have you, when you look and go, it go a certain place, and you go through the bush and go a certain place, but you, you clean over there, you know. But it, it chop past something by you. And when they declare that, it's sure. Like the guy in a, in a, in a UK, where him kill him mother and him father. And him tell them gone, you know. Him gone out. And I tell him neighbor, them one, but and him, him drive off far. They carry them, go bury them in you know, some bush areas. But a tree, they must say, ask just not tree or something. One of them tree, him pick up that the pollen thing there. And then, and then, him, him wheel, and they, they think that the wheel. And it's under it, you know. And the police, them go and, and clean that from under it. And it put him back right there, so and them go, they go find the body, them, don't it? You see me, I say, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Them know exactly because them know whether I treated them, kind of treated them, what have you said, them know where it. You see it? See it? For people, them that pass the world of that, man. Them don't know where your car go. You drive a car, all right. Like a man commit a crime and him drive him car. If I told this, but under that, under that car, under the, yeah, that, under the, where you call it, mud yard, or them thing there, and nothing it pick up, you know. And I stick up under it, you know. So when you, when you get, I know that like searching our car, just I look for personal evidence like this. No. All under them place here, dust them out and you get to the cutting and can't tell you. I'm going to country. It's country them sample something. They're making a ready for this thing yet. They're not ready for this them thing yet, man. Cause them not do it, man. Evidence. Pollen isn't easily washed away. 
it gets into clothes and it can often be found on shoes or on the foot pedals in cars. Pollen and spores are too small to be seen by the naked eye, so criminals rarely realise that they have picked them up at a crime scene. Pollen and spores are produced by plants and fungi. They grow in specific places. So you know very well that this plant will grow in this soil, that plant will grow in that soil. And because of that, we can predict where they are from. In one particular case of an attempted murder, this man tried to strangle a girl underneath a lamppost, and he said he hadn't been there, of course. But by taking his clothing apart, I showed that he'd bumped up against a fence with his left shoulder, that he'd dragged her through a hedge, that he'd knelt, and so on. And because I sampled the crime scene in detail, I could see where bits of his body had been, so I could, I could actually reconstruct what he did at the time. They're oh, uh, they, they, not so great at Jamaica, man. They them British, hey, them, them, say, hey, let me tell you. Yeah, he him said never did it. But she could have, we struck, she could have construct, we struck the, the, the whole scene and tell him what I'm do. Everything. And put him there. Nobody not have to tell her because it's sure, the pan him close and she go down, she, wow, and no way him touch and wow, everything. Eh? She never wrong, you see it? Eh? Bad. And some of them are want to Jamaica. Simple. No more chatting. See? Yeah, man. Other ways in which nature can help forensic scientists determine when a crime was committed. Insects, for example, can provide a lot of information, if you know what Insect. to look for. As forensic entomologist Amrit Whitaker explains. Uh, insect. When you die, your body starts to, to break down and decompose basically straight away and so your body starts giving off certain odors and those are very attractive to blowflies if so you hear what she said actually straight away when you die you hear what she said mm -hmm. go back the clue go back the clue just listen to what she has said hey them people are, them people are, hey Jessica explains yes. when you die your body starts to, to break down and decompose basically straight away and so your body starts giving off certain odors and those are very attractive to blowflies if we can Blue work flies. out how old the larvae are that are feeding on the body then we can work out the minimum time that that person must have been dead the colder it is the slower the larvae develop the warmer it is the faster they develop you see you still know all these things i'm going call these things right much eh all right all right. Really, the shorter the time span since the death, the more accurate we can be. Remember Edmund Lockhart, the French criminologist we mentioned earlier? His contribution to forensic science didn't end at everything leaves a trace. He developed and contributed to various methods of forensic analysis, including dactylography, the study of fingerprints. The interpretation of evidence has changed a lot since I became a crime scene examiner 20 years ago. Back then, if I examined a car whose door had been broken open to gain entry and the only evidence I found was a finger mark on the outside of the driver's door, I could reasonably expect that if the finger mark was identified for someone, then that person would eventually be charged with the offence and the case would go to court. However, things are now very different. If the same finger mark was found today, especially in a relatively non-serious case such as this, there would be a strong likelihood that it wouldn't go to court. And this is because the Crown Prosecution Service, or CPS, they need to be satisfied that there is sufficient evidence to provide a realistic prospect of conviction. Their argument for not prosecuting based on the finger mark on the outside of the vehicle might be that anyone could have walked by and leaned on the vehicle, leaving sure. the mark. In the past, defence barristers argued about who the evidence belonged to, but now they focus on how the evidence got there. Could the evidence have been left by someone other than a person breaking into the car? If there is any possibility, it could be someone else. You see that? Because people might have lift up their thing and put something there and have a view. So, you know, in the past, them, if them pass, fingerprint upon something break and it match your hands, them lock you up. So them know, so, okay, that you can't work that way there. Because you have people leave that thing by your car and do all that thing, so them, Spin it wrong, yeah? Watch this. Then the CPS tend not to take these cases to court. Forensic science is constantly evolving. In the future, it's possible that many crimes will be solved before they've even been committed. 
as predictive software will mean that police forces will be able to anticipate when and where a crime is likely to take place and even who is likely to commit it. Then there's our microbiome, the tiny microbes in our gut, which according to a new study by Harvard can identify us as individuals just like a fingerprint. Despite the rapidly changing world of forensics, Linda says there's one thing that good forensic scientists never forget. That we're dealing with real people's lives and we need to ensure that we work in an objective and unbiased way because if we get it wrong, it's people's liberty that's at stake. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, be sure to check out these videos next and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to get a notification right. each time we upload a new video. All right, yeah, man. So you see that now? So what I talk about now, hold on there. Yeah, but put on the time at the I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, 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 um, mm -hmm. so them thing, I'm going to play some of the little things, you know. Them thing, yeah, and them thing I'm interested in, you know. I'm interested in the foolishness, you know. You see me, I say, them thing, yeah, you know, marvelous. So, um, this more I see, a key itself, luminal. Okay, more I see this. More I see this. Yes. More I see this. Man. Yeah, so Mr. G, up. Oh. Yeah, man, key itself, I luminal. I'm see something. Yeah, man. I don't know what I'm interested in. I don't know what chatting in. Forensic science, I don't know I'm interested in. I don't know what chatting in. No, sir. Too much, I know. No. See, I say, if I think out of the box, I'm way up, say, no. I'm thinking, I'm going to say, okay. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. Oh, I'm going to say it. Okay. Okay. Let me do this. Okay. No. Let me this. The search for the presence of blood at a crime scene is normally done by close visual examination. The possibility exists, however, that blood may be present in amounts too little to see with the unaided eye, or that the blood at the scene had been cleaned up prior to arrival of the crime scene team. Typically, luminol only shows investigators that there might be blood in an area since other substances, including household bleach, can also cause the luminol to glow. Listen, you know. Yeah, man. It's cool. In some cases, luminol leads investigators to more evidence. For example, if luminol detects trace amounts of blood on a carpet, investigators may pull up the carpet and discover a lot of visible blood on the floorboards below. By applying luminol to a linoleum floor, an attempt to clean up blood is apparent. Normal photograph of the area before taking the luminol photograph. This completed luminol photograph shows the location of blood stain. You see that look away? See, see that look away? I show you a normal bit, but the, the luminol photograph is where it's sure. Mm. Experienced investigators can make a reliable identification based on how quickly the reaction occurs, but they still need to run other tests to verify that it is really human blood.
hidden blood splatter patterns can help investigators locate the point of attack and even what sort of weapon was used. A bullet makes blood splatter very differently than a knife does. Luminol may also reveal faint bloody shoe prints, which gives investigators valuable information about the assailant and what. They say ups. So you have a, 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 you have a bit of work at, at, the, at the scene of crime unit. I'm not the proper lighting. Then I'm the proper lighting. Lack of resources. When the government says they spend how much billions and then spend the most money on resources to carry, um, carry out them function. Evidence A. Don't my okay. That body. Mm -mm. What he or she did after the attack. Did they? Chemical enhancement of footwear impressions and blood on fabric. Map of luminal traces found in Kircher and Knox apartment. Proof of a cleanup after the murder of Meredith Kircher. I'll wear your wash it now. Get all your mean ups. No use of business. <laughs> That's it. Good tea and look there. See that? One problem with luminol is that the chemical reaction can destroy other evidence in the crime scene. For this reason, investigators only use luminol after exploring a lot of other options. It is definitely a valuable tool for police work, but it's not quite as prevalent in crime investigation as presented on some TV shows. The police don't walk into a crime scene and start spraying luminol on every visible surface. A case solved with the help of luminol. Aspiring filmmaker Mark Twitchell has been found guilty of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison for bludgeoning, stabbing and dismembering a stranger for purely experience of killing another person to make a more authentic serial killer movie. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Twitchell, 31, used an online dating site and disguised as a woman named Jen to lure Altinger, 38, to a rented garage in South Edmonton on October 10, 2008, before killing him. A happy face of Atlinger, heading to a rented garage where he supposedly thought to meet the woman he was chatting with online, but instead met his brutal fate by the hands of a narcissistic person. I like call them, them cover crime scene of them places, you know. Police tell you, even if they deal with a suspect or something, they tell you back half, back, back, you know. Yeah. And then, you know, to saw them, you know, see that. They deal with some, you know, some victim and them thing there, you know, crime and thing. They are card now of things, man. And do the right thing. Our, our people, them know, they, they, the whole of them trample upon the thing. Not nah, going away. Not nah, going away. My work off a year, Simon. At first, officers found nothing inside. Look, nothing. Look there, look all clean. Clean, eh? So, them find nothing, them go in there and look how clean that look. We're gonna see what happened. Clean, eh? Having peace, eh? Clean. Until a chemical called luminol was sprayed on the floor. A giant pool of blue light suddenly glowed in the dark. Table too. You see that? Detectives began a search of the home of Mark Twitchell, the filmmaker renting the garage, and found this modified hockey mask in his basement. The mask was from a horror movie about a serial killer who lures men off dating websites to his suburban kill room. Police found this laptop in Twitchell's trunk and the deleted files, a document titled SK Confessions. The first lines read, This story is based on true events. The names and events were altered slightly to protect the guilty. This is the story of my progression into becoming a serial killer. Police placed Twitchell under 24-hour surveillance. During their investigation, they learned that he is a devoted fan of the Showtime series Dexter, about an avenging serial killer. Twitchell even posed as Dexter Morgan on Facebook. A photo of Johnny Atlinger's blood in Mark Twitchell's car trunk. Investigators also found a knife in Twitchell's car, with blood on both the sheath and knife.
police believe that Atlinger was hit over the head with this pipe shortly upon entering the darkened garage. He was then stabbed to death. So them police are stay, car when them going at that first, you know. And then say them not say nothing. They not say nothing. But when them run to it and them do for them thing, they not just keep up and just them leave with it, right? You see me I say? Like Jamaica police force, I mean the amount of money they must spend on that about boot and more guns and more things and one police have three guns and all kind of things. Stop man. You understand they can advance investigation, you know? Use some forensic science, put up, and then make everybody start to work with them body camera because some police have it and some don't. Yeah, man, just keep the thing real. Yeah, man, if you start keep the thing real, man, do the right thing, man. Put up the camera of them all over the world, all over the, all over Jamaica, man. Camera for go up, man. Camera for go up, man. See me, I say it help you. And I'll always, them, you know, police, you should have a, a monitor. You know, police said, uh, yeah, police along the way, them can monitor the areas, them, that's where I go on, you know. Now, in the town centers and all, but all over the place. Just like, like, like UK and them places, they monitor it, you know. All over the place. And owner have that, them have them private thing, and then they can tap in anything, you know. So, you know, I say, but they don't want to do that, man. You know, see, they don't want to do it. Eh? They don't want to do it, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, they, 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 they make they make story and ask question. They not do investigation. They not do investigation. And then and, and, and then um, the news media do 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 reporting. So um reporting to you live from something I reporting, you know. I when something make no sense, they not question it, they not ask, you know. Can you have things that make sense and people don't want to question it, you know. Yeah, can you have some people when I said dumb, you know. Yeah, talk about man. I rather chat to a rock. I don't chat to them, I don't chat to them. You know what I mean? I don't talk to them. I don't talk to them. I don't talk to them. Yeah, man. Waste of time. Yeah, man. It's like you talk to your outside, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. No investigation. Even when it comes to the big boy, you know, because they don't investigate them. They just leave it in one side. I'm going to pan down and talk foolishness and, you know, do a bag of foolishness. You see what I said? That's right. Them well up. Trump the poor and needy because when them Trump, you know, you won't talk, you know. Them well up Trump, you know. See? Yeah, man. And, and, and apps. Me just have declared to have some man say, it's still want some now. We don't do yes man thing on your son and thing. We don't do that. We don't do it. And me and yeah, you could have tweeted. And me, me by now, me not about people personally, you know. When you sleep, you sleep. But if you be truthful, man. You understand? I don't make nobody come draw no card because we don't, we don't believe in the card business. Believe in that forensic science which sells a lot of things. You do man just say, use the plant and the trees and all kind of things. Then use all these kind of things and you can identify you and how you move. Know where the one that grow, where this grow, where that grow. Know where you did there. No, say over this alone, have them thing here, you know, start meaning me over this. And you say, you know, they're about to put a place here, they're going to reach you. Something you tap on your clothes, you don't understand. If you go up and knock you over, you go for house, you go away, you go. You leave something and you pick up something. Reality. Reality. And at least not for them, no, you know. So if you make them know it, you see me, I say, yeah, man, they're going to know it. Man. So my medical education thing there, so. I forgot to come carry it. And next thing, me the one, um, I'm going to talk to Leonard, Leonard, long time fiance, you know, for years. Can you see? I'm talk, me definitely I'll talk to her tomorrow. I'm going to talk to her today. But Leonard, you know, because I choose to kind of more breakdown and everything and everything, you know. You know? But then the year outside, and I'm going to call Lenny's son, citizen. And then I'm going to call son now. In the concern when I go live down I'm, I'm uncle. I'm like, so my advice then. Don't I am brother and uncle. Um I'm uncle wife. Or brother wife. Yeah, I'm brother wife. Um one of them, yeah man. Um don't just say you see my have some flower, like my advice, my is some flower. You know them supermarket don't have don't have don't happen. Alright, in carry him look at some and she the session will look at some. 
You know, long minutes, the boy, if I'm a baby, you know, for a few months. Because the mother never did move, you know, certain could be and the care the baby got on the old evening. She just said, no, say, no, say, I'm 15 now. And I said, well, time went quick, you know. That's a Lenny baby son, you know. That's like Lenny now, you know, 15, you know. Can't believe it, you know. Yeah, man. 15, I read the little time when I went off. 15. See? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Lenny, Lenny get about oh, five grandkids. You know, test them, no, no, that's what I have. But make it all right, I'm going to talk, because it doesn't give me one tree. And then, I'm going to know them things they are less, you know. See me, I say? Mm hmm. Condolences, man. You know? Yeah, man. So, them, they know them part, you know. Yeah, man. So, then he get how much kids him get and how much friends him get and, you know. Then I didn't know. So, as I said, you know, keep it cheap, boy, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see what I say? Yeah, man, I have to keep it real, boy, you know. Yeah, man, I have to keep it real. Yeah, man, where you say, you say, um, Bennett, where you say a shoe print give you away? Of course. Shoe print give you away, man. Anything give you away. Now tell you, say, you say, you know, there's somewhere, and them, them, not, them not have to argue with you, man. And they remember say in you know, England, remember them set up, you know, all right. You drive go up there in one or something and then you break a speed limit. You know, I get, you know, I get a ticket. I get a ticket, man. Bless up big dreams. See? You get a ticket, man. The speed and you can't, and they, they must have some camera now where you say, I know me. Ah, that them guy with that now, where you say, man. Everything, my tire print, them have cars in and lift that, man, and tell you who's tire. Who make the tire and all kind of things, man? This is what for there, now. We're not there now, man. We're not there now at all, man. It's like we're going back here, man. See? If you just come out with big gun and bad up on them, you don't need to do these things. These things are all outdated. These things are supposed to be outdated with, with um, the abolition abali um, of slavery. You understand? Yeah, man. From slavery abolish, that fit outdated. That should have outdated. Not that we may see them going out right now and do foolishness. Yes, I say foolishness, man. See, from the abolish the slavery business there, from the 18 something, 1838 in Jamaica, them thing there. That should have done. That them, um, them police sent thing when we see a foolishness right now, you know. Yeah, man. Tire print everything, fingerprint, man, do some things, and some things, some cases, them crack. So, yeah, let me tell you, you know, no okay, care what you do, you know, you leave DNA all about, you know. And of course. You leave DNA all about. But remember, you know, the alone might are going in a house, and they might be careful because you cannot go in a house and other people are going there so they might be careful, so something are over, something are whatever, whatever. So they might be careful of certain things. And then they want a contaminated thing either. See? So when a crime scene, you know, a crime committed and you create a crime scene, then secure that crime scene and call the news for call it. Jamaica, police, everybody there on the crime scene. I'm not a fuck if a man is dead and they might lift him up by a man and fling him in a jeep back and gone. See me, I say, enslaving our own people, right? HD, yeah, that them the pan, and then our, our own people now, you know, so they might enslave themselves for them, yeah, man. I know for them, I enslave themselves too, you know, because number one, you vote for who have enslaved you, so you enslave yourself, that's number one. Number two, you know, them have a mind to think of them own, them can't think, you know, with not no modern technology, not at all. From something sown to them, one more mix up them, run with it. I mean, I said, no, man, you know, look and think out of the box, man. Think on a broader level, man. See? Yeah, man. So they enslave themselves. They enslave themselves, man. Yeah, man. Yeah? Them just hold back themselves. I mean, I said, no, but this is not a good thing, one or Them hold back themselves. We're no business. Me, I hold back myself. I mean, not here. And then continue to do that for centuries. I know you think, sir, them not change. Them not change. Same old them. 
You know, see, they're not changing. They're not changing, man. No time for change. They're not, no time for change. They are not going to change. See me, I say? Them not want change, and them not change. So what about I do? Them not want change, and them not change. And it's simple. They can't tell them nothing. You see me, I say? Say so they are all back themselves. All me can say. And it's straight. All me can say. Them holding back themselves. In this of a stop. See? Yeah, man. Respect. Give when you, when, you, when you give back respect, you know, man. You see me, I say. I want some customer service. I want real in, um, forensic forensic investigation and forensic science things start working in the police force and anything there. Instead of some too much of ears, I want to find out one like he that and that kind of things. So you want a man for them crime scene and you want certain good things there. You do the right thing, you know, who you are, who you are. Somebody say, me never did it, but you can't plan them there. You're good. You understand? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Them slave themselves, man. Them, yeah. Uh, slave, they abolish them, should have, you know, them should have done with them kind of little way of younger people. And them don't have nobody. You go on that, and, you know, I don't like what them life and them without the truth. Them thing, you know, and them thing and them fear watching for educate them about concerned things and watch more right. So when them have a, a reasoning now, them not read like reason like you know, you 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 you, you, you just run with something and thing and say no, but then I say to work, I'm never idea how to work and When you start watch up some things when I study about them thing them. Man. You know, I'm crime scene and them things, start watching some of the weird thing, you have enough documentaries, man. Read documentaries, eh? Watch them, man. Yeah, yeah, see me, I say, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, see me, I say, just watch the real thing, man. Who are real document? Just, just only just look them up. But sometimes, instead, I want to go up on some things, and when I want to the TikTok and thing, but everybody one foot in and boom, bam, and peer wine up, and that's how I'm vexed with Africa. You know, they're not seeking my knowledge, man. You want to know the thing run, man. See? You want to know all the or the, the country you come from all the government and work and thing and because politicians really you know when you look at them pay remember you know the commissioner get more pm team pay double what the prime minister get you know. commissioner and police you know but you still and you, and you can't even understand that don't it but you still when you check them out really politicians make some dangerous money because politicians thief up a lot of money them pay not really big. Yeah? But them pack it big. Them have much thing with them pay. So them just sit down there and, and accumulate up a lot of things and do a lot of things, you know? But again, trust. People don't want to know about that neither, you know? You, know? They, they must attack, you know? See? And this, and this is why no man can't bring no, no, no either crime scene to me, you know? Because some things when we study, you know, it's unbelievable, you know? But just take some little lighting and show them for them just start looking at these things and go go deal with it. You understand? Yeah. You see me? I say, okay, it's bad. It's bad. Really bad. See? Any man can come and say, yeah. and everybody, yeah. I run with that. You can't bring that to me, man. That when it makes sense, it makes no sense. Yeah. No, them not going to know about butt naked, man. Butt naked. General butt naked. The man that fight butt naked, man. The man that I'm facing a shot can touch him, man. No bulletproof, nothing. But naked, super thin clothes. Believe with them, them are art and all kind of things that they mean in me and all. One bag of food, you see, man. Yeah, man. Google for stop targets. Google for go home, man. Link that in the time for Google go home, man. Who else have reached home long time? See? So can you imagine now? Um, the commissioner, deputy, the people them at the bank of Jamaica and everybody get bigger money than the prime minister. I hear that question yourself. So then all this. So okay, it's like them are doing a service back to the country then because them pain is so big, but they might live the lavish life, you know. They might live the lavish life. Mm -hmm. Them pain not big. But me I tell you, so them I live the lavish life. The amount of thing them own. It's unbelievable. Say that bad. We are born then thing the kite bad. Yeah, say man. For bonnet. Tomorrow, 
Yeah, man, I want to go back to me. I go back to me. Me see with a uh, um. I go back to oh, I want to carry. I talk to Leonard. Leonard. Um, come on, that wife for much years over two decades, and and I want to carry the Sri Lanka thing. I have to carry. See, I look back on Jamaica and the position of Jamaica in and now and, but Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka the day and and all oh, oh, them oh, they end up there. So I want to carry that. You know, more okay tomorrow. Can we have them then? Because we have we have ministers on go walk a cut ribbon to hotel and like uh, we eat that, you know. I don't pay that thing, so we know up to that we don't have food this is what for bonnet, you know. Yeah man. Well them want to live bigger than the city, you know. You see me I say? They want to live bigger than the city. I don't want to afford the dollar the value. The guy a bank of Jamaica get like what the president of the United States get. Mm. I treat the value now, I get like what Nancy Pelosi get. But before that, before the value gone up, so I get big money, man. Before that, if he pay more than a 200, 400, 1,000 US a year, I make that with ease, man. You see me, I say? Yeah, man, to the money, the value, man, it just cut it down. So that bad. Yeah, man. Well, bad, too. So here we're appealing, we're appealing to some of the same people them way. You know, them like here and run with some little things now there. When if we watch forensic science, like me not that they, they them say side, them can kind of more document documentary and they, they, they expert them can talk to you and everything and you understand it. Me not talk something with them put in a 60 minute video where it take you but them about seeing but remember to assure them I put in a 60 minute, you know, for done wrap up thing you now. Just watch them kind of thing, the real thing, and documentary, and teach a lot of things. See me, I say, yes, man. Yeah, man. So the Adam thing, more and them to start watch, man. Say so, teach a lot of things, man. I waste some money. I waste a time. Yes, Linda. Bank of Jamaica waste a time. Remember, you have to pay the governor, you know, thirty million, and then you have deputy governor. You have, you have too much things. You have much deputies and you have much more money in the, in the govern, governor, governor. Part there's a car more than one of them. And, and then you have executive and one bag of things and one bag of board and things. So you pay this bag of money to them for nothing at all. And you provide them. Me give a job and it's a third world country. And me have to give a car and house allowance and entertainment allowance and some. And I some millions, you know. Push up them things. You see me, I say? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Now, now people, them for start, and them thinking, them for start, what? And have an understanding. And then go read the Constitution. Yeah? And, 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 and then read the police thing, the book. You see? Just read them thing, the man. One of our four sides, and one, you know? I want, yeah, you want to read the constitution, you want, you know? What you mean, man? You see what I say? So you want, you want, you want to study the world like that, you want, you know, watch up some, some of them kind of little things that like they real, the real forensic science, I mean, I to ask some people, you know? You see? And start about some cases. Hold some people accountable. Who not the boss? Start hold people accountable, stop playing with them. We now we 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 yeah, we stop we now waste no time we stop waste time we now waste time with none of them we and them no friend be a fire we are fling pan them yeah man so tomorrow let me carry them two show there yeah yeah man I tell you say last night me only get a, this morning I only get a sleep me I watch the time now and come go get them. Yeah, you man, go show up and go with like, early sleep, car. You know, come here, watch your time now, car. Shane, we have to run up on the road and come in back in. Yeah, man. Everyone knows the Bible. I'm a matter of fact, hear this stuff, hear this stuff. Everyone know the part of the Bible where they teach them, where they make them not read the Bible out for themselves. So them read some part where the pastor read it to you with suit him. It suit him. You understand? And they have so much thing in the Bible. I want to do. I draw back for that too, you know. I have to draw them thing, you know. Because you know me like.
document the things and put them up, you know. You see me, I say, say it, him, him teach him about the part of suit in. Read it out to you all the while and read it loud into them. Just say, all right, but go start from Genesis and then go straight, you know. Revelation, yeah, man. You see me, I say, you know, do it. You know, do it. Be a foolishness. Anyway, I'm going to run. Yeah, I'm going to do some. You see me, I say, rest up and then tomorrow, I'll be a, I'll be a fire me account scratch tomorrow. You know, you know my thing already. And 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 around here, we don't have foolishness. No, we don't support foolishness. Yeah? Yeah? Learn some. Oh, bless.